everybody, and welcome back to Tattoo Home Wreckers, a podcast where we talk about tattoos, life, and everything in between. My name is Callista, and this is Gaia. Why are you suddenly yelling? I don't know. I got nervous. I got really nervous. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I'm just excited, and it's what nine o five in the morning, and mm-hmm. we we have our coffee, and we're about to do a silly little episode. Yep, we are going to do an episode of Would You Rather. Mm-hmm. So we will just be asking each other questions from a list that, I don't know, I slightly skimmed. Mm -hmm. I only asked her the first question, and then after that I was like, fuck it, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, we'll just send it. Okay, great. All right, perfect. So would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great-great-grandchildren? I, w- I want to start this off with saying I don't want kids, but I would definitely rather um, meet my great great grandchildren. I'm not I'm not really that interested in meeting my ancestors, mostly because we wouldn't speak the same language. Like I okay, but you're going into the past, so like, do you think that like oh Google translates a thing, but still like, and the, I don't think that part matters. It's just mm-hmm. like, would you like if you could talk to either one of them? I think it would still be my great great grandchildren. Really? Yeah, I think because like I just want to see. I don't know. I just want to see, see what's up. <laughs> no, I for sure don't. I want. I would rather go backwards. Do you have a question you would ask them, or would you just like like to get to? Know nah, them? do I would just like to get to know them. I'd just be like, hey, tell me like, tell me about your life. Mm, cool. But like, I don't. I wouldn't want to. Same thing. I'm not having kids. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't want to go forward because what if they're shit asses? What if your ancestors are shit asses? Yeah, that's in the past, though. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't, like, affect me. But then if I then had to come back here and I was like, cool, so there is no world for my great-great-grandchildren because we fucking burnt to the ground or, like, it's something horrible and insane, I would then spend the rest of my life like, oh, God, where if it was like, oh, yeah, so on my mom's side, what, they're in Mexico? On my, like, dad's side... They're shitty people in England. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, they probably own people. Um, mm-hmm. And then, like, on, you know, Hedges' side, they're, what, farmers in Nebraska. Okay, that's fine, too. That's kind of So cool. I'd rather, like, I kind of know enough about that because you know me in surprises. Yeah. Whereas, like, if I went forward and I'm like, oof, no. Yeah, I think most of my ancestors would definitely, I mean, obviously be, be Filipino. It depends on how far back we go because if we talk about my my grandpa's parents, yeah. they were like, you know, Chinese. So that would be that would be a thing. Um, and that, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, no, I'd rather I'd rather meet my uh, future not existent. grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, would you rather have more time or more money? More time. Yeah, I fucking agree. Yeah. With more time, you can make more money. <laughs> No, it's it's either or. You can't play the fucking... Okay. Uh, no, more yeah. time because then we would have more time to do fun things, to be able to recharge mm-hmm. and to be able to, like, actually properly recharge yeah. instead of, like... Con- I don't know if that would actually happen for us because um, I feel like I would, you know, we would still find a way to be productive, but, like, I think more time. Yeah, I for sure would rather have more time. Okay, that I was- can make money and I can't make time. Exactly. And that's the time's the part that's like the hard. What do they say? Time is the um, most unrenewable resource. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's so precious. Yep. <laughs> um, would you rather have a rewind button? There's like a theme with these a rewind button mm. or a pause button in life? I am my own pause button. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I, but I don't think I would want a rewind button. So I would say pause. What about you? Um. Yeah, no, I think I'd rather have a rewind button. Really? It, yeah, because you can't change it. But then I could like go back and like relive my favorite moments. Oh, that's really sweet. So, I was I was under the impression that you would just change whatever it is that you would say. Well, no, because if you rewind a movie, you can't fucking change anything. That makes sense. You're just rewatching it. So then I would just get to go and like rewatch these things. And how much more knowledge could I gain? Mm. Like by like reliving moments where it's like the big fights that Caboose and I have or like big life moments Mm -hmm. to then like rewatch them. Yeah. And be like, oh shit, you've like gained this knowledge. No, yeah, that's cool. I kind of like rewatching a movie. I think I would spend too much time like micro analyzing everyone's like tiny facial expressions and like be like oh my god did did they actually hate this experience was i the only person who enjoyed it 
Oh, um, yeah. My brain prevents me from doing that because I assume, like, okay, so if you're making a nasty face, mm-hmm. I assume you're probably holding in a fart. Oh. Like, something <laughs> personal is going on with you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, no. I'm kind of like, well, look, if if you're having a terrible time, mm-hmm. then I'd rather just be like, hey, are you having a terrible time? Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily go back and like analyze all that to be like, oh no, because I would just be like, man, I bet Callista really had to fart in that moment because she looked miserable. Okay, that's fair. That is that's mm-hmm. fair. Um, yeah, but I can absolutely understand that, like going and being like, no, I'd spend too long. I'd spend too long. Yeah, analyzing everything. And I think the pause yep. button for me would be more so to. Um, I would love a, like a pause button so that way I could respond and not react to people. And mm. I feel like I'm pretty good at that already. But like still, I feel like, I mean, shit, I would be 10 times better at chess if I did that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you could just spend more time like, hmm. No, exactly. It would like it would be a, the cheat code of like, I don't know, uh, conversation. That's true. You know? I would, dude, I don't know though. Because there'd be a lot of shit that I'd be like, I don't want to pause this moment. Like, just move on. Like, I don't want to see your face. Like. Yeah. No. Can we fast forward? Yeah, yeah. Like it's fast forward an option. Can I fast forward through the boring shit? Right. Um, let's see. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak all foreign languages? Fuck. That's a good question. That's a good question. I like that. That's I, instantly animals. Yeah. I'd, dude, if I could understand Bailey, I mean, I understand Bailey, but like if I could like. Understand. Oh my God. Yeah. If I could talk to all animals. Then you would never talk to another human being ever yeah, again. Yeah, it'd be great. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would still talk to people. I would just have a – think about it. I already don't want to talk to your kids when I, like, go to a party. Mm-hmm. I only want to, put like, talk with your pets. Mm-hmm. I would be so much happier. I think I would have to do the languages, actually. I mean, that makes sense for you. Yeah. You're a for people me, person. Yeah, oh. you're a people person. <laughs> That's fair. I'm still coming to terms with that. Um, but you're a people person? Yeah. Bro, I literally have, like – I think I could count all my close friends, including you and my husband, on one hand. Mm-hmm. And, like, you're always, like, beep bopping all over the place. Mm-hmm. And Caboose and I are like, wait, which friend is she out with now? Like, you have, you know so many people and you're so recharged by people mm-hmm. that I'm like, Mm-mm. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm actually not a That you're person. a shy person. Yeah, it's the reverse, yeah. right? That, like, yeah, and that's totally fine. That I'm like, I'd rather stay at home and then have, like, my couple friends be like, you come to me. Mm-hmm. But it's also why, like, look at our New Year's party. It's oh, for sure. One person, two people. Love it. We, when we invite four people, we're like, oh, my God, who this are we? People. This is a rager. This is a rager. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say all languages mm-hmm. um, just because, I mean, it would help me understand people better and, and understand cultures better, I feel like. I would be so interested in, like, I don't know, just understanding the intricacies of, like, everyday Russian life or German life yeah. or, like, like, shit like that would be really cool. So, yeah, I would say that's, that's my awesome. final answer. Um, would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Oh, win the lottery. What the fuck? Live twice as long? Absolutely Yeah, I know. That's a shitty, like, I feel like that one's obvious. I don't want to live twice as long. Um. Yeah. Because then everyone you love dies. That's the problem with all those, like, I want to live forever. I'm so selfish. I was, I was going to be like, I don't want to live twice as long because that means that, like, the other half of my life is just spent in pain. Like, physical pain. <laughs> I'm like, if my body's already fucked up right now, why the fuck would I want to prolong that? <laughs> That's, That's why where I went. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking emotional pain. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm thinking like, no, way. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I already worry about, like, how long I have to live after Bailey. Oh. Time is done. Don't, so I'm like, don't. no. Exactly. That's awful. it. That is awful. So twice as long. Yeah. That's that's way worse than your like, bones cracking. No fucking way. <laughs> um, let's see. Would you or would you feel worse if no one showed up to your wedding or to your funeral? Or in my case, my birthday party and a going away party. I've had both of those where no one showed up. Why don't you share those stories? (laughs) I'll give my answer first. I would rather no one show up to my funeral because why would the fuck would I care? I'd be dead. My wedding, though? There are certain people that better fucking come. Ooh, I'm not joking. Not me. I don't have to go. Shut up. You are one of those people. What? That's a requirement. I'm not, I'm not going to that shit. 
We're about to fight on the podcast. <laughs> this is about to be our first fight on the podcast. Actually, you would be upset. I I joked with her once that like I'm like, what if I just went and got married, dude? If you did that, and... I swear to God, I would never forgive exactly. you. Exactly. See, that's what I'm fucking I would saying. Never. She's bluffing. She is never bluffing. forgive you. And then I came home and I'm like, yeah, I got married. I have if favors. you if if some dumb fuck <laughs> was get, would propose to you mm-hmm. without letting me, oh no. Oh, no. They wouldn't get that far. They like, have a council to go through first. Yeah. There is know? a, yeah, there's an entire council of all of us. Yes. That, like, if you want them to be traditional and ask your dad, absolutely go ask your parents. But more importantly, the people you are actively doing life with. Yes. Like, think about how pissed you would have been if Caboose and I just, like, eloped and we never told you. And you were that's part fair. of our life. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Where I, I was like, like guys- oh, my God, he proposed. You'd been like, excuse the fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. No, because the person that proposes to you, that shit's going to be so important. And you let's have face to consult. It, yeah, they're not going to get it right on their own. No. Caboose proposed to me twice, technically. Mm-hmm. Once via a picture he sent online mm-hmm. through Yahoo Messenger, through which is Yahoo really cute. Messenger. Yeah, that's how old we are. And the other <laughs> time was on the day we were supposed to get married because we were just going to go off and fucking elope and it was like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. And he like chickened out, but his chickening out turned into him just being an asshole all day. So he was an asshole. And I'm like, are we leaving soon? And he's just avoiding me being an asshole because he didn't know how to talk and I didn't know how to talk either. Mm-hmm. That's why you shouldn't get married when you're like 22. Um, you don't know how to have conversations. <laughs> and then that night, like, we got into bed and we're still, like, kind of fighting. And then he, um, goes and, like, pulls out the ring and is like, okay, well, will you marry me? Right. And I'm just like, what the fuck? We are supposed to have done this today. I'm so confused. Mm-hmm. Um, and then tried to put the ring on the wrong finger. But we were literally sitting in bed. Yeah. That's why I don't tell that one, like, when you're trying to do the one up and ship. Shit, you just do the, like, the, classic, the cute picture. The whole adult thing of how did you meet your husband, you have the winner story for sure every time. Um, well, it depends on how I sell it. Okay, well, here's the thing. No one needs to know the dirty, grimy details. <laughs> you know what I mean? All they <laughs> gotta know is that you met in Italy, <laughs> that bitch. They don't. That's all they gotta know. City yeah, of love. a sleepy fishing village in Italy. Uh, Not yeah. that there That's was romantic. no air conditioning and that we were, you know, we were fucking 20, so we're horny and young. Got and the we're swamp just, like, ass in must love. have been insane. Dude, but you guys every had... place that we are skin touch, and he kept cuddling me, was just sweaty and sticky. Bro, that's me in general. Yeah, that is you in general. <laughs> Anyone trying to hold your hand at the slip and slide? So, it's so bad. When, when like, I get a partner and they're like, can I hold your hand in summertime? I'm like, I don't know if you want to do this. They I, don't. I appreciate they don't. It's that. gross. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, I'm trying to give them an out. I'm like, you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, I would like to touch you, but this is already wet thinking about it. Touch it. No. <laughs> it's so great. I, I can see it. I can see the moisture pooling. But the, mm. like, one side is you have a self-lubricating hand, and that's pretty rad. I can't do this. <laughs> We're going to pretend that. <laughs> yeah. So She doesn't love me right now. Anyways, I just... A, if you're planning on getting married with me, my future spouse, you have to consult with the council mm-hmm. first. Um, yeah. And if you don't know who the council is, then you're not going to get that far anyways. Um, and B, I feel like the people, the council has already had several <sighs> meetings before you even get to the initiation ceremony, and no one's made it to Mm-mm. the ceremony. Nobody has nope. made it to the initi- initiation. Nope. Well, I mean, you're in the fun-loving part of your life yes. where you're just, like, having fun with... People that are just not can- council members. No. So, and that's okay because you have to get through that. Yeah. Otherwise, like, if you don't, you know, sow those wild oats, then you'll end up 40 and be like, what did I do with my life? Yeah. I'm definitely, um, yeah, I'm at that phase in my life where, uh, where the council at this point, it's just fun and games. Yeah. It's a telenovela, if you will. It is. Yep. It's amazing. What's your answer to this question? Funeral or wedding? <laughs> um. Okay. So... Sidebar here. I plan on having a pre-funeral. Like, once I get older, Mm -hmm. I want to do, like, my Mm -hmm. own celebration of life so I can just be like, hey, you guys, tell your, like, bosses and shit like that that I died. Um, So that way you can come and we'll do, like, a proper funeral. Um, Because I want to be around for it. Uh, Mm -hmm. But honestly, like, I would have been totally, I think just because I've had a wedding, I'm sure, like, at that point, it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. But even then, the people that weren't able to make it, like, my brother couldn't make it. I didn't give a flying fuck. Mm -hmm. But I'd much rather, because I'm doing my own funeral, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be so much better, I would much rather people show up for my funeral. Also, because with my funeral, it's like the... 
celebration of me as a person, whereas my wedding is a celebration of us as a couple. And though, like, I get it. We're a really cute couple. We're rad. Yeah. We're awesome. Um, I don't know. I don't really fucking care. I mean, I care about yours just because it is a big life event. Um, but like the hypocrisy. For my own, I'm yeah. Because <laughs> I, I personally don't care. But if you don't show up for my funeral, yeah. That being said, if we don't like each other, don't show up for my funeral. Oh fuck no! There's a blacklist to my funeral for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding? You can't black oh, I can I people. can do that. I can put that in my will. There is going to be a fucking blacklist to my fucking funeral. <gasps> you do so not get to go. And guess what? No one's going to know they're on the blacklist till they show up and the bouncer kicks them out. That's going to be the real kicker. Me? I'm the bouncer? No, I'll hire a bouncer. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I still cuz I still want to do we'll do it for yours too. Okay. Um so whoever like dies first. Whoever kicks the bucket yeah, first. I for sure want to do the uh our beautiful business plan which is we put the fun in funerals oh. and have the best the best video content of you just being a goblin ridiculous person. Please. Yes. That's also why I want to like be in charge of my own funeral. The first video that's gonna play at your funeral is you falling on those crutches. <laughs> that fucking it's video. It's iconic. Sometimes when I get stoned, <laughs> sometimes when I get stoned and I'm laying in bed, it's like the last thing I do. Like I'm about to fall asleep, I'll pull up that video and I'll start crying, laughing. That's it's, amazing. Like it like sucks. It's that kind of laughter that like takes the breath out of your mm-hmm. lungs. Like you can't control it. It's yeah. so fucking funny. It's so good. That'll be the first video. The great part is like when we post that and everyone's like, "Are are you okay?" Oh my and it God. was like for the next like week or two later and I'm at work like, yeah, dude, I'm here, right? I'm fine. It was so funny because you can hear in the video, me gasp, start to laugh. And then Caboose just in- in- instantly starts laughing. And then I'm laughing, right? And then I go, oh my God, are you okay? Because yeah. like I had I had to like remind myself <laughs> to ask because I was laughing so fucking hard. Well, I'm the worst person at that. Like, Caboose falls, mm-hmm. and instantly I start laughing, and then I remember that I'm like, you're supposed to ask him if you're okay, and I'm Separate. too busy. You guys are married. Cackling. <laughs> it's the same thing when you hurt yourself. I'm just too busy being like, you dumb fuck. No, seriously. Which is also why anyone who laughs at me when I do dumb shit, I'm like, that's that's not your fault. Like, that's the correct response. Yeah, thousand percent. Gosh, that was funny. Um, okay. Oh, my God. This is hilarious. <laughs> I know exactly which one you're going to pick because okay. you're attached to this thing. Hmm. Would you rather be without internet for a week or your phone for a week? Without internet for a week? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I have service on my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what would you pick? Dude, I would love to just not have my phone for a week. Yeah. Did I tell you the story about, um, so this is a reoccurring thing. I, your girl in high school used to drop iPhones in puddles and bodies of water all the time. I've dropped my phone in a puddle from rain, which is rare because Reno like hardly ever rains, but it was a thick yeah. ass puddle. Uh, I've dropped it in the school toilet and then I've also dropped it in Lake Tahoe. Um, but anyways, I at one point had to wait two weeks mm-hmm. before I got a new phone. Bitch, I made more art in that two weeks than I had in two years. I would 100% believe that. Because yeah. you and your phone. A very, You're yeah. like very attached. Very much so, yes. Like it is always with you. You and Caboose yes. and your screen time is insane. Yeah, my My screen time numbers are really high, but that's because I leave my screen on and I just walk away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't have that like auto off because I use it sometimes for tattoo references. I know. People don't understand that So either. then. I got asked the other day. They're like, does your phone not turn off? I'm like, oh, I use it for drawing. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, like, yeah, there's no timer. Yeah, like for it us. just, yeah, I just yeah. leave it on. But then Caboose gets so annoyed because my battery's always dead. Like, currently, my phone is plugged into a spare charger mm-hmm. um, because it was about to die before this episode. What percentage are you at? Um, oh, okay. Well, I'm charging right now, so I'm at 64. I'm at I was at eight before this. Oh my god. <laughs> Because I don't remember to charge it at night either. I'm bad. So usually in the morning, he brings me coffee, like in a thermos, and then he also will plug in my phone. Otherwise, like, I would just go without a phone. You know how hard it is it's going to be for me to find, if I do end up marrying a man? Because I hear Caboose doing all this shit for you. I'm like, I better get the same thing. I better get the same damn treatment. Or I'll I'll be the person doing the coffee. I don't know. So the cool thing that happens is that like that whole, you know, you're some of all the people you're around. Mm-hmm. So then like that person will hear about all the awesome shit Caboose does and then start to like emulate it. Yeah. So it's cool. <laughs> Me looking yeah. at the camera. You better <laughs> be like, ready to get trained, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the thing is like he didn't always do that. He just no, like for sure. started mm-hmm. and then 
back when he first started doing it, probably about 10 years ago. Right. Um, I would, like, make a really big deal. So I bragged to people all the time. And mm. then it became something that it's that whole, you know, be what you want to be. Like, start acting, like, how you want to be considered. So, like, you know, I sent you a message last night, an old post about like how I left the gym in tears Mm -hmm. which is now really interesting because people will like see that and be like what the fuck guys got like mental fortitude for days absolutely it was so refreshing (laughs) it was very refreshing to read yeah whereas I was not I used Mm -hmm. to I left the gym multiple times in tears or I would just like quit a class early um and that's a that's the same thing I did with Caboose because one of the books I was reading on marriage at that time was like if your partner does something that you really appreciate Tell them as much as possible because it will reinforce them doing it. It's like training a puppy. Like training a puppy. (laughs) And so it's the same way that, like, he trained me to get me into, like, fitness because Mm -hmm. he loved working out and was really active and I was not. Mm -hmm. Um, I then trained him to, like, essentially baby me so I can shake my water bottle at him. And he does that. And he, like. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of, like, trained each other. I, um. I'm excited for the day, but I'm also not rushing towards it anymore. There is a moment there in winter that I was like, oh, my God, I hate being single. You get like that every winter, though. Yeah. That's normal. Comes That's and normal goes. for you. You think yeah. so? Yeah. See, this is the joy of, like, actually living with, like, another sentient human being because they can tell you your patterns. Um, for example, it was a few months ago. I was like, man, I would love to live in Seattle. And you were like, you would die. You would. Yeah. You are you need sunshine. I truly do. I really, really like, do. I did not realize how both? important it was. <laughs> I do not need sunshine. Mm-hmm. I would just get a fucking tanning bed mm-hmm. like membership, go to tanning bed once a week to make sure I'm getting vitamin D. Yeah. And then like sit outside in the rain, convince myself that that's all the sunshine I need. Mm-hmm. And I'm super happy. But you and Caboose need actual direct sunlight. Like on yeah. the days where it is bright and sunny outside, the two of you are like brand new people that's so funny (laughs) like both of you are like genuinely like plants just like (gasps) sunshine no a thousand percent like feeling it on my skin is so important i did not realize that until Mm -hmm. yeah until like living with you so you're able to tell she's also able to tell me that i'm a huge simp during winter so that there's that you are not not a gimp not is that what i thought yes yes Yes. i keep mixing those up she was like yeah simp like i just like wouldn't be comfortable in all that (laughs) other and i was like <laughs> caboose and i started laughing and caboose was like that's a gimp yeah <laughs> so i was like oh those are not the same thing close <laughs> okay would you hmm. oh this is an easy one would you rather meet george washington or our current president our current president what the fuck what really yeah i don't, I don't want to meet george washington do you want to meet George Washington? Yeah, dude. I'd way rather. Interesting. Do you want to meet Biden? Yeah, I'm down to meet Biden. I feel like we would have really funny conversations. <laughs> That's true. I feel like if I feel like this is going to sound so mean. I feel like I could fuck with him. I feel mm-hmm. like I could be like, dude. Yeah. You know, it's just hard being like this age right now because like everyone is just like obsessed with skateboarding. <laughs> Like, I would just convince him of the most wild, random fucking things. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? That is really hard for me. So that's actually... The fuck it's not? You're blind and deaf right now. Well, here's the thing. That is true. I get asked. People are weird about it. I never have my apps on night mode. It's always on light mode. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and... People are always like, what the fuck? Why? And I'm like, because I can't see it in dark mode. I I am blind. I can't see things. Yeah. I have to retrain my brain to read messages in dark mode. I'm not doing dark mode. No. Fuck Twitter dark. And I know I'm going to get hate for this. No. Yeah. I do Twitter light. Yeah. yeah Twitter boo, dark. Twitter dark. <laughs> I don't know that that's a thing. Night mode. Is that yeah. just like when they have the black with the white lettering? Oh, that's how my phone's set up. No, exactly. That's why I'm having trouble like looking oh, at it. Yeah, that's why um, I'm reading all the questions. Um you. Yes. No, yeah, it's actually I can't do it the prepared. other way. Really? No, because I'm a fucking bat. Dude. You you are a you are a bat. The world is entirely too bright. I didn't learn that that's like part of like autism is like oh. that bright lights. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, oh yeah, I don't know how the fuck my parents did not granted when I was growing up like yeah. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't, like, right. public knowledge. Um, I mean, girls also don't get, like, diagnosed yeah, when but, they're young. Like, it's not a lot of women. Yeah. Now, like, reading it, I'm like, 
Bro, this is, it's like textbook. To a T. Or shit like that where I'm just like, oh yeah, how I hate bright lights. So yes. our house lives like very dim all the time. Mm -hmm. My brightness on my phone is always turned all the way down. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Like, no. Yeah. Um, okay, so also, if you had to choose one to lose, what? I also just realized our poor wrecking balls are like, what the fuck? They're both tattoo artists. The, the answer should be obvious, but I love listening to music. So that's a thing. Oh, yeah, I would much, I'll lose my hearing. I won't lose. Really? Yeah, my sight is like, no. I, think I would lose a huge part of me. Like, it, I don't I don't think I would be okay if I lost my hearing. So mm -hmm. I would have to say vision. I would rather yeah. lose my vision, honestly. And then I don't have to worry about, like, I don't know, I guess I could really focus on people's character rather than, like, their appearance. Because I feel like I get, what? Did you just admit to the world that, that I'm shallow? You, yes. That you judge I'm, people based Oh, on yeah. Their I'm shallow as fuck. Are you kidding? Uh, dude. You're just like, then I wouldn't be such a judgy bitch. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Our podcasters, the people listening to the podcast are like, oh, fuck. Dude, my life would probably honestly be improved. If uh, you didn't. If hear I didn't have to hear yes. all the shit. Obviously, yes, like, would. you know, that's hurdles you would have to get over. But to not hear people chew. Yeah, Ever? it would change your fucking life. That'd be amazing. Absolutely. If I could turn my hearing down a little bit and turn my sight down a little bit, yeah, my life would be easier. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, I do like the fact that I get to, like, I don't know, essentially, I, I guess, brag or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun party trick to be able to read signs from super far away because I've got really good sight. Mm -hmm. And especially with you and Caboose, because even with your glasses, I'm like, that sign says this. And both of you are like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yep. But that being said, I do want to wear glasses because I look so cute in them. I look really smart in glasses. And Just people treat them. me so much differently. I keep forgetting them because I don't need them. So As I someone who is blind and has to, like, genuinely, I look like fucking Velma <laughs> if I don't know where my glasses are in my room. Yeah, I totally get forgetting them. That's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, then people that wear glasses get mad. Well, you know, if you... The look lady that I bought the glasses from the store, because, mm -hmm. you know, I went and had, like, an eye test, and she was like, you don't need glasses. And um, yes, I was I like, do, bitch, oh. let me give you my money. And the dude was nice enough that he was like, I mean, if you want glasses, you can get glasses. Mm -hmm. He's like, one eye is, like, a fraction different than the you other. You have blue light glasses, so you can go ahead and buy yourself blue light yep. glasses. Like, that's totally fine and valid. Like, if you feel like you look cute enough, just wear them more often. I encourage this behavior. I okay. encourage you. People should just, whatever fashion statement you think is weird or unnecessary or whatever. No, if it's a look, it's a look, bitch. That's how I feel about freckles. I have freckles mm -hmm. and then everyone's like talking shit about how this is a new thing. And I'm like, I think you look adorable. If it's a you look, look like it's a, a look, bitch. If it's a look, just do yep. it. Make it happen. You have one precious life on this earth and you better fucking work. <laughs> okay. Mm. Would you rather become someone else or just stay you? Why say just? Just stay you. I would much rather prefer being me. I don't want whatever baggage other people have. <laughs> I know how to handle my baggage for the most part. I'm getting a good grasp on how to handle my shit. I don't want to change right out of the gate. Just restart. Just, yeah, you just wake up tomorrow and you're Taylor Swift. Fuck dealing that. with, like, all the obstacles in her life. Love her, but, like, also love me. No, uh-uh. Yeah. It's not happening. You would rather stay yourself, too, right? 100%. Okay, if we did have an option to change, though. Yeah. Who would you be? For a day. Just for Oprah. a day. Oprah? Yeah. I don't know why, but my brain said my friend Nicole. Oh. Be Nicole for <laughs> that would be amazing. Wait, yeah. does that mean you would be Nicole and you get to live here? So I get to like hang out with Nicole for a day? I don't know. I think it would mean that I would be teleported oh. to Nicole's place of living and then have to do her job for a day, which would yeah. be so hard. That would be Oh, so but then difficult. you would be married to Rachel. Yeah, but I'm That'd not. That'd be awesome. I mean, I'm not attracted to Rachel. I love Rachel. She's super hot, but. I would love Rachel to be my wife. <laughs> That's really sweet. He's Nicole, really you better watch wife. out. I'm kidding. <laughs> Homewreckers on the loose. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I don't know why, but my brain was just like, oh, I want to be Nicole for a day. That'd be so much fun. That'd be so that cool. That would be. That'd be so cool. I would not pull it off well. <laughs> but it would be so cool. You'd be on social media mad that you have to be on social media. I, no, I'd be, I, I don't know. 
if I'm that badass, you know, like a football practice, I'd be like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, would you rather be Batman or Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Oh, interesting. Why? Yeah. Because I could swing around, dude. Pew, pew. Yeah, you just fucking... <laughs> I could Wait, swing around what, and do gymnastics. I, I, did, I just did a pew-pew, which is not what Spider-Man with does. With the wrists? Yeah. A pew-pew with your wrists? Um, yeah, I'd much rather be Spider-Man because... Why do I we mean, look like we're milking things? I don't know. <laughs> we're like... Pew, a, pew. He's, he's really <laughs> flexible. His mobility is great. Because in order to do those, like, fucking twists and turns up in the air, you gotta be fucking... You better be mobile, bitch. You can't be stiff. You gotta be hella flexible. You okay. gotta be bendy. And then B, I would just really like to swing... Around in the air, around skyscrapers and shit. That sounds fucking phenomenal. Mm. Yeah. That sounds so scary and so fun. What about you? Oh, Batman. 100%. Why? Why Batman? Because he's just a fucking person. Just a rich guy with yeah. gadgets. Yeah. Dressed up as a bat. <laughs> You're dressed up as a spider, except you don't even look like a spider. Mm. You're fucking red and blue with spider with. web like shapes all over you don't come for me don't come for me hey i'm I'd a rather gymnast be, okay <laughs> okay and you don't think that fucking batman's super strong and flexible that's true because he also does awesome badass shit yeah homie's but built. then like he's got fun vehicles he's got fun gadgets he's got his fucking best friend builds him anything hello it's just me and caboose me being like hey i would like this I need a cup holder Caboose for the bike. A, I need a phone holder for our bike. Caboose is the butler. What's his name? I, well, he's not his He's not butler. Robin, he's, right? No. <laughs> Caboose no, is not Ro- Robin. You would be Robin. Would. <laughs> <laughs> Robin. No, Alfred. Alfred. Yeah. But the thing is, Alfred's not really a butler because Alfred's like yeah, they're the person that takes care of him, care his best him. friend. He just has to front to people that he's a butler. Yeah. He just wears the outfit. Yeah. He just likes being like, he likes being smart. That's fair. Yeah, but he like invents everything. So yeah, yeah I'd I'm already living that life. I'm already Batman. You have you ever seen Batman and Kaya in the same room? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we have time for one more. Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's see. Yeah, better be a good <gasps> one, right? Ooh. This is this is a good one. Okay. Would you rather always say everything on your mind? Oh God. Or never speak again. Never speak again. <laughs> i don't know i'm just scared i'm just scared of people like this is gonna get deep for no reason i'm scared of people getting to know the real me not on my terms oh you need to you need to get to know me on my fucking terms bitch like Mm. you know what i mean like no i don't uh -uh. i the control is what i like about it like i like the control of like that must be nice yeah, I know. I don't have that. I know you don't. This question's too easy for you because, like, you already speak your mind. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't I think control I'm like, it. <laughs> I think I can hold maybe, maybe 10%. Yes, I think that's fair. I would say like, I would give you 15 to 20, oh, but it does you. depend. It does depend on your mood that day. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> then it depends on, like, like, like I like to put it depends on the level of autism that day where it's like, OK, can I make eye contact with you? Because sometimes you can. Because sometimes I can't. And yeah. then it makes um, consultation super awkward when I'm like, oh, let me talk about your tattoo every other direction. Yeah. And then there are days when like for the life of me, I cannot put a filter on that shit. Mm. Like at all. But I would also rather just 100 percent dump it out of my brain because that's only a little bit more for me. Yeah. Um. Then I would to never, to never speak. speak again. Because yeah. yeah, communication is so big for it me. It's very important for you. I would I, just have to sign like, to you guys. Honestly, you guys would have to learn sign language. I want to learn sign language anyway, just so I can I talk too. shit in public. You should learn sign language. And people can't hear me. Yeah. Because also, if I'm talking shit and someone like no sign, then at that point, props. Let's yeah. fucking do let's, this together. We are talking shit together. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I'd rather, I I just like the control of, like, not letting people know me until I think that they, I think that I'm, A, ready to let them know me, and B, I feel like they're worthy, which makes me sound like a narcissist, but, like, I just, yeah, there's certain people out there that I'm like, no, you don't, I, if I let you get too close, you are going to, like, actually hurt me, so there's no way, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, and I think you're really good at, like, 
kind of showing people the different like facets of yourself. Here's what you're allowed to see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like we are allowed to enjoy each other, but like you can't get to the pit of this peach. But yeah, no, it's, not it's also happen. probably why I have very few friends and you have a lot of friends mm. um, is because I'm just like I'm me 100 percent every yeah. every single day. There are not different facets of me. Mm-hmm. I run at this, like, intensity level all the time. So yeah. you're just stuck with this. Which, honestly, I am jealous of that, too. I mean, it must be freeing to, like, not have that option as well. Just because, no, then, like, you don't. No, it's not freeing at all. Because mm. instead, everyone's just going around me like, oh, that hurt my feelings. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking snowflakes oh god yeah Yeah. no i get it everyone gets their feelers hurt entirely too easy and then everyone gets offended by everything Mm -hmm. and i'm like well you know what just because in a fleeting moment i said you're being a twat waffle yeah doesn't mean i forever think you're being a twat waffle it means at that point i thought you're being a twat waffle that's the hard part right it's a whole it's a whole black and white thing it's also it's there's so many facets of this that i can talk about I think the biggest one being um, that a lot of people are just uncomfortable with the, like, very broad range of human emotions, especially any human emotion that is associated with the word negative, Mm -hmm. because we are trying to deconstruct that as well, believing that no human emotion is actually negative. Yeah. Just because you're angry, just because you're frustrated, just because of blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean it's fucking bad. That's just your state of emotion right now. Um, now, obviously, there are times where I'm like, okay, don't throw a tantrum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it comes down to, like, yeah, time and place. Like, and obviously, place, yeah. at work, like, keep yourself composed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but, you know, I think it's also just, like you said, people are super weird about any sort of, like, non-positive. Mm-hmm. So even, like, in relationships, no one likes the idea of, like, someone being mad at them. And, like, for me, I fucking gotten over that shit Mm -hmm. where i'm just like you know what if you're you're gonna get mad at me sometimes Mm -hmm. like you snap at me sometimes Mm -hmm. i snap at you that's totally normal yes Mm -hmm. and i don't fucking go around later like oh my god calista snapped at me i'm I'm like very well i was probably really annoying or (laughs) she just had a bad day she just had a bad day or she just yeah yeah or or she's just grumpy or or like for whatever yeah i'm super grateful for that in our friendship just knowing that like whenever we do snap at each other everything is still okay like we don't have we don't have to chase each other hey Sorry. Like, and we do that anyways, if we do feel like it was, like, super bad and mm-hmm. uncalled for. Um, but we don't do it because the other person's sulking or anything like that. No. We just circle back a lot. Um, but it's not like we're up each other's asses about it either. It's no. just like, oh, whatever, that happened. I'm just like, well, someone's mad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, hope you guys liked our slightly derailed Would You Rather. Mm-hmm. And if you've got answers for us. Please send them in, and then we will see you guys next week when we are down in Florida for Disney. Bye.